Hey yo everybody, what's up? Um, so this is gonna be kind of like a retro review for me, or a retro tutorial for me, because I haven't worked with PSPs in probably three or four months. It's been so long since I've touched one of these things. So this is my, um, friend's PSP 3000. Now, as you know, like, up here I got two PSPs. I don't use PSPs anymore, but I got, I got about five PSPs in total, but I don't use them anymore. But um, my friend just got this. He bought this from, this is a PSP 3001. Um, and he bought it from my neighbor for 50 bucks. So, uh, yeah, that's a pretty good deal, I'd say. So I'm going to show you how to hack this bad boy with custom firmware and how to make the firmware permanent. So when you shut off the PSP totally, it still stays. All right, so this might be a little longer of a video, but I'm going to be very thorough. Okay, so what you're gonna need to do is go to this website. It's called um, PSPSlimHacks.com, which I'll show you. Let it focus up. PSPSlimHacks.com. Um, the files that you're gonna need are get the 6.20. If you're on 6.20, this is for tutorial for 6.20. The TNE hand release. You're gonna want that, and you're gonna want the permanent patch version three. So what you're going to want to simply do first, and I'm going to click download on this, um, and I got this, that's 10, that's the 6.20, and then, um, and then what you're going to want to do is go to permanent patch version 3 and download this. Okay, so there we go. So now we have those two files, um, I'm going to go open them up, I'm going to go get them real quick, and downloads, they should be, oh, no, never mind, they're on my desktop. So you got those two files. I want you to first extract these two. That's the first thing I'd like you to do. So extract these two files. So we got the 10E patch fix. That's what that's called. Um, there it is. And then we got the permanent patch. So here's what you were gonna do. All right. So this is so I'm gonna show you my PS this PSP here. It's not mine. It's my friend's. Like I said, PSP 3000. Boy, this is really beaten up for a 3000 though. Look at all the scuffs on this thing. Ah, not my PSP, not my problem. Alright, so let's turn up this bad boy. Alright, now, as you're going to see, the firmware. I'm not going to do this hiding Mac bolt. Actually, just for the sake of it not being my PSP, I'm going to... Oh, uh, never mind, too late. Whatever, I don't even care. There's the Mac address. So it's on version 6.20, there you go. It's a PSP 3001. Now I'm going to show you what to do. So what you're going to do is plug your PSP into the computer with a USB cable. Like so. Alright, give me a moment. I'm going to, this is going to be hard to do. Well, actually no, it's not going to be hard to do. There you go. And it's going to say USB mode, please wait. You know, this, you know the drill. And then it's going to pop up over here. Just give me a second. Enjoy my wallpaper while you're waiting. Alright, here we go. Open folder to view files. Now here's your PSP root memory stick. Now you got your two files here. The first one I want you to open up is the T the 6.20 TN fix. Open that up and see where PSP game. Copy this folder TN hen right here. So copy that. And then I want you to go to PSP game on your actual PSP. And I want you to put paste this in here. Um but the first thing I want you to do before you do that is I would like you to format your memory card. I'm sorry I forgot this stuff. Let me show you. So this is where you're going to be pasting it. But uh, I want you to format your memory card first to make sure there's no problems here. So just go to settings and scroll down until you see format memory stick. And I'll just do that real quick. Alright. Now we're good. Now you can go back to your USB mode. All right, now go to PSP, game, and now I want you to paste that in. Like I told you to copy it, now paste that. That's all you got to do. So that's the first thing. I don't want you to put the other file in yet. I want you to go one at a time. So here we go. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make this an easier color for you guys to see because I hate this silver color. Oops. I hate the silver color. I don't know why it's silver. Looks ugly. My favorite color is for PSP is the black. I love this color. It just makes the PSP look sweet. Love it. So now go to your game. 
And there it is. Homebrew enabler. Um, if you have any UMDs, just for precautions, uh, take them out. Alright, not the best way to do it, but you know, you do what you gotta do. Alright, and now just press X on this. Wow, this is so nostalgic for me. I haven't done any PSP stuff for so long. This is so nostalgic. Alright. Now, you'll see what's gonna come up here. Your memory stick light will flash a couple times. Um, and now look what we got. Look at that TN settings. You can click on that, and you can do configuration. And look at this. CP, CPU clock. I mean, you can see it's... Look at all this stuff you can do. Um, it's custom firmware, as you go. But you'll, you can see. I'll show you in a second. 6.20 Hen E. Um, I'm not going to bother, but I, if I was you, I'd update to 6.39 firmware if you have a 3000. So you could, um, so you could, uh, get the 6.39 Pro B10, but, um, let's just do a few things here. I'm going to overclock this PSP. Boom. It's overclocked. I'm going to overclock the game. It's a USB device, memory stick, fake region off, password control, character limit, skip game boot, nope, hide MAC address on, TN network update on, hide pick, um, off, spoof version on, USB charge, I'll click on for that, fast scrolling music, no, US, use VSH, yes, hide hand boot, fake index, protect flash on, and button assign X. So that's that. So now if I press this, you see I have the custom firmware menu that you know, the VHS, BF, bleh, VSH menu, sorry. So there you go. So it's hacked. But now you're going to notice that if you go and turn this PSP off right now, you are going to boot back to regular 6.20 and you're going to be like, what the hell? So right now I'm going to show you what to do if you want it so your PSP stays forever on this firmware. Here we go. So, what you want to do is go back into USB mode, up here, and I'm gonna and go to and, and now I want you to go over to your um, permanent patch, and now see this. Just go and you copy this folder um, right here called the T T T T N E patch, and go to PSP game, and put put it right there. All right, it's that simple, guys. Now you're going to go out of USB mode, and here you are, and you're going to say TNE permanent patch. Run that, alright, run that, and now it, this is what it says. I'm going to make this very clear so you all can see what it says. Um, oh, well, hopefully you guys you can pause the video if you want to see what that said, but... Um, you can see we're still on TN firmware, and as you see, US it's charging via USB, so that option is working. So we're on 6.20 TNE. Now I'm going to show you this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete both of those things. I'm going to delete the permanent patch. I'm going to delete the homebrew enabler. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fully shut off this PSP. I'm going to go here and I'm going to click. Um, re shut down. I'll just shut down. Now what's gonna happen is this PSP is gonna be totally off. It is totally off. This PSP is off. It is all. It's totally off, and that's it. I'm gonna turn it back on, and it's still gonna have custom firmware. As you are gonna see, it must still have custom firmware. Ooh, wait a second. It doesn't. That's bizarre. Hold on. That is really bizarre. Why does it not have custom firmware? Oh, man. Something went down. All right, guys. Hold up. Well, it's always good when this kind of stuff happens because we can see what we did wrong, right? I mean, I can make longer YouTube videos now. Like, I am... Uh... I can make like well, I am like I got the option to make longer YouTube videos now. So let's do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do this again. Let me see that. Let me see.
I don't know. I'm going to try this again. So I'm just going to load the, the the Pumber Enabler again. Sorry about that, guys. I, I'm pretty embarrassed right now. I mean, I, I set it to Retro Review, kind of meaning that it's kind of really easy and simple, and it's like I haven't done this forever. But, yeah, I, I just messed up. Like I said, I haven't done this forever, so all right, here's your custom firmware. Now, I'm going to run this patch. Now we're gonna see what this says. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to read this. I'm gonna read it out of the viewfinder because when I looked in the viewfinder on my camera, I couldn't see what it said. It says er error. Turn off. Oh, okay. I see what we went wrong. All right, guys, this is good. So here's what we did. Here's why it didn't work. In in your hen, you have to go to that. You have to go to turn off flash protection. I should have known this. See where it says um um. Where is it? Uh, flash protection, right there. You gotta shut that off because this is gonna write some files to make this permanent. So now that that's off, flash protection is off. Now we can make it permanent. Okay. Let's make this permanent. Let's make this bitch permanent. All right. So my bad, guys. That is a little issue that you might run into, and maybe you guys are gonna be wondering what the hell, because that auto flash protect is was on permanently when um or was on automatically. So here we go. So this is what this says. I'm gonna focus on 6.20 TNE Hen Permanent Patch Version Version 3 or point 3. Initializing flash read write. Okay. Are you okay? Are you going to install the patch? X for yes. Um. O for no. I'm gonna click. Let's see. X, and it says some stuff. And then it says, copy recovery PRX to flash. Are you going to have a test run on fake version VSH menu? If it failed, you should stop installing or press the Um And then I'll press X. Now, I don't know what this means. I don't know. I think what that did was that was doing a test to make sure that it worked. Because now, see, I'm not on hand firmware anymore, I don't believe. I think I'm on... Uh, Oh yeah, actually I am. Hold on. So let me let me see let me see what this says. I'm gonna run this one more time. This patch. Hold on. All right, I'm gonna press X. Good night. And press zero. Alright, now I'm on the custom firmware. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click shut down device. And now I'm going to turn it back on. And it should still be on custom firmware. Boom, see? Still on custom firmware after a cold restart. Boom. Alright, last test I'm going to do is I'm going to power this thing all the way down. And I'm going to see, I don't know if this has a recovery mode. I'm going to see. So I'm going to hold down the R button and I'm going to turn it on. And I'm going to see what happens. I don't know if this has a recovery mode or not. I don't know if it does. Yeah, it does. Alright, there we go, guys. Pretty nice recovery mode. So you got a lot of st stuff here. You got all your features as a normal recovery mode. So that's all, guys. Hacked um, PSP 3000 on 6.20. Thanks for watching.